Richard Farrell left New Zealand eight years ago when he was 13 and is now one of the coming concert pianists of our day. You must find it pleasant to be back in New Zealand, Mr. Farrell. Yes, I'm very happy to be back in New Zealand. I'm here to give some concerts for the National Broadcasting Service and then I return to New York. I'm giving some concerts in America and the first of these is in Carnegie Hall in October. And what will you play for us? I should play the Sixth Hungarian Rhapsody of this. The first Waikato Winter Show since 1941 has attracted the largest crowd on record. It's the biggest dairy produce show in the world, but although most of the exhibits deal with farming, it also covers many other fields with New Zealand-made goods well to the fore. They might do better if they demonstrated this dishwasher to the husbands. There are no end of gadgets for the home or the farm these days, but it's high time someone invented a machine to look after the children. the Aid for Britain store, people can donate food coupons and place orders for food parcels which will be sent to England for them. Among the meat exhibits are displayed the best type of carcasses to fulfil overseas trade requirements and others which show good or bad points of breeding and killing. This will help farmers to produce more and better quality meat for Britain's eager market. Agriculture Department's display on pasture management shows farmers how to get the most out of their land and a department official demonstrates an experiment in soil research. Farmers always show an interest in the latest type of equipment. The average New Zealand farmer fully appreciates the value of agricultural machinery and most of our farms are highly mechanised. There are displays of the latest British models and by buying them to increase production, farmers will be aiding Britain both ways. The Waikato Winter Show brings farmers the latest in techniques and equipment and the displays of primary produce show the excellent results being achieved by New Zealand farmers when the world's most urgent need is for more food.
Tune Motors shattered the quiet afternoon at Fairfield when motorcyclists assembled from all parts of New Zealand to compete in the Hamilton Grand Prix, the largest road race to be held in the North Island. There was an anxious moment as riders in senior and junior events pushed off. With the two races being run at the same time, nearly 60 machines were on the course. The race was already fast and promised to give the 5,000 spectators lining the track their money's worth. Paddy, winner of the New Zealand Tourist Trophy race, established an early lead. The three-mile course was well chosen, including tar-sealed and sand surfaces with several tricky bends. Some of the spectators at this corner received an unpleasantly close view of a competitor who failed to make the turn. beginning to string out. Perry still gaining ground with Mudgeway not far behind. Difficult bends and loose road surfaces took steady toll of the riders. Lap scorers and pitmen waited anxiously for their machines. Riders stopping at the pits for minor adjustments or refueling were quickly on their way once more. <laughs> Lapping at 70 miles per hour, the Christchurch pair Holland and Swarbrick were racing well. Petty and Jensen had been forced to retire along with more than half the original field. Competitors by this time were getting tired, and as a result, there were several narrow escapes from serious injury. More than a lap ahead in the junior event, Clarkson of Auckland finished the 33rd lap to win comfortably from Taylor of Palmerston North. Remaining 10 laps of the senior event, riders kept up the gruelling pace. And Holland wins, completing the 130 mile course in 118 minutes at an average speed of 66 miles per hour. The race was held in conjunction with the Hamilton Popular Girl Contest, sponsored to raise funds for the St John's Ambulance Association. The Motor Trades Popular Girl presents the sashes and at the suggestion of the crowd receives impromptu busing from Winner Holland. <music> Junior and senior event winners Clarkson and Holland congratulate each other on a successful afternoon's racing.